On the way to get a mower, it's not a free one. It's one that I'm gonna fix for a friend or hopefully fix for a friend. It's been sitting up for a while. I believe it's gonna be a carburetor issue. So we have a two-year-old Craftsman with a M230-163cc Briggs & Stratton engine. Like I said before, it's been sitting up for a while. So I believe taking the carburetor off, cleaning that out, maybe cleaning out the main jet, that should fix the problem. Let's check the oil, see how that level looks. It's clean, I know that. And it is right on the full mark. And that is the original oil that came with this mower because it sat up for a while before they even put it together and ran it. Air filter looks brand new let's take a look in the gas tank there is a little bit of trash but i do not see any water water would have sunk down to the bottom or rather the gasoline would be floating on the water but i don't see any signs of that and they did tell me that they had replaced the gas that this is fresh fuel so we know we have fuel we know we have oil let's try to crank it it is automatic choke so there's no priming necessary let's see what happens if it doesn't crank we'll spray some starting fluid in the carburetor <laughs> no luck try the starting fluid if it fires up and runs for a second that's telling us that we have a fuel delivery issue all right that's what it is probably just needs the carb cleaned out to get to the carburetor, the air filter housing has to come off. Four screws, two on the outside are 5 sixteenths, two on the inside are 9 30 seconds. And there will be a breather hose on the back side. Don't forget to reconnect that. And now we're gonna have to take the fuel line off, which means draining the fuel tank. So let me get a plastic container. You could just pinch this line off, but I want to see what the fuel looks like that's in the tank. And the fuel does look fine. It looks clean and there's no sign of water in the fuel because that water would be down at the bottom. The gas would be floating on the water. So no problem with the fuel. So the carburetor should just slide off. And then there are two linkages we have to disconnect. One for the automatic choke that's up on top. So that should come off first. And now for the throttle. And each one of those has an S bend in it. So you have to turn the carburetor to the side to get that off. And this is the plastic style carburetor. There's gonna be a cartridge inside once we take the bowl off and inside that cartridge is the main jet. And I believe that's where we may find the problem. And also one common issue to look out for, see this O-ring down there on the bottom that fell off. There's an O-ring and a retaining ring this white plastic ring. Make sure you keep track of those. We're gonna put those back on the carburetor before we reinstall it. Sometimes these stay on the carburetor, but often they fall off just like they did. So just don't lose track of these. At the base of the carburetor, there are two screws. We have to take those off to get the bowl off and that will give us access to the main jet. And these screws are 9 30 seconds. And there will likely be some gasoline in the bowl. So just be ready for that. To get the bowl off, I have a large flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna try to pry that bowl down a little bit. I'm gonna try not to spill the gasoline because I wanna see if there's any water or trash in it. And there is something in there, little white spots. I'm not sure what that is. I don't see any signs of water, but what's the white stuff? I don't know, but you can see it floating around and possibly some of that got into the main jet, whatever that is. To get the float and needle valve out, this bar needs to be pried up on either side or pin, I should say. And be careful, see how that slid out? You can lose this easily, especially if you're working outside over grass or pine straw. Main jet is in this cartridge, so we have to pry that out. The hole right through here. That is the main jet. So let me get some light shining down on that and we'll be able to tell if it is clogged up or not. Right through that opening, that's the main jet. I have light shining right down on top of it and we see just a faint bit of light through that hole. So I believe this is partially clogged. I'm gonna clean it out initially with a small piece of wire. 
and then use some carburetor spray. And even just with the wire, see how much more light we can see through there? Right there in the center, just the wire cleared it out. Now some carb spray and I don't want to get that on the flashlight. And now look at the light we can see through there. So I'm confident in saying that was the problem, that we can put this mower back together and it's gonna run fine, but we can clean this up a little bit more. This plastic piece right here will slide up, revealing the emulsion tube and we can get that cleaned out. And also we'll spray the carb down a little bit. Flathead screwdriver again. That will pry up, revealing the emulsion tube. And on the emulsion tube, there are holes that go directly through it. So you wanna make sure that those are clear as well. So again, with the wire, see how they go all the way through. Also a passageway through here and through the top. Hit it all with some carb spray. Also on the carburetor itself where the fuel line ties in and where the needle valve sets. And now reassembly, see how there's a horizontal slit in that and it fits right over this piece. And now the cartridge back in the carburetor with the O-ring towards the outside. And it'll snap right in. If you try it the other way, it won't go all the way in. Just don't force it. Now the needle valve hangs underneath the float right there. And then the needle valve goes down into that. Oh, I'm forgetting something, forgetting the pin. Pin's got to go through. And now the needle valve goes down into that hole and the pin snaps in on either side. And last thing, the bowl has to go back on, but I want to dump the gasoline out first that has those little white flecks in it. I need some carb spray to get those out. And now putting the bowl back on, I want this rectangular section that fits right over the main jet. If you try it the other way, this way, it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna go all the way down, so don't force it. Just spin it around and get it in the right position and reinstall your screws. And the carburetor is ready to go back on. Now before reinstallation, make sure that you put the O-ring and the snap ring on the back side of the carburetor, the opposite side of the gasket. So the O-ring goes in first and then the snap ring. And now we're gonna reinstall the linkages in the opposite order. So the throttle that goes in the back, that came off last, so it's first to go back on. And again, we're gonna to have to turn the carburetor to the side to get it on that S bend. And now the automatic choke up top goes through that hole. Just like that. And then slide the carburetor onto the engine, making sure it goes on all the way. Now the fuel line. Don't forget the clamp. And I did clean the tank out a little bit. I'll show you that in a second. The air filter housing and remember that breather hose on the back fits on right here that might be kind of tricky so you got to get your hand up to the back push that breather line on and that's on now your four screws With the fuel tank, I put a clean rag down in there, moved it around with a screwdriver and the rag came out clean. Then I poured a full gallon of fuel into the tank, let it drain out through the hose and it came out clean. So we should be good here. Last thing before I put some fuel in, I'm gonna check the spark plug. But it's fine. It's brand new. This thing's barely been run, this mower. Cross your fingers. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's all it was. Clogged main jet, whatever that white stuff was that we found in the bowl of the carburetor. Easy fix. 